Hi, hello, this is uh, Shankar once again, and this is my uh, series which I'm uh, talking about predictive astrology, my experiences over the last four decades, and I'm sure you'll find it useful. Please apply them and let me know uh, on my email ID, connectingstars at gmail.com. If you have something which is rare, which you have which you have found out or which is coming uh, in your dynasty or something which you observed time and again, um, please do write to me at connectingstars at gmail.com, C-O-N-N-E-C-T-I-N-G-S-T-A-R-S, connectingstars at gmail.com. Not, not your birth chart, but things like this, uh, up, you can write them down in Hindi or English and uh, I will certainly put them on the video and also put in my books and also try them out. So today I'm going to talk about a very uh, um, combination which is condemned uh, usually which is Saturn and Ketu together. Now my experience is that Saturn and Ketu together gives good results and it mostly gives good results. It gives good results in terms of money, it gives good results in terms of good children, it also gives good results in terms of your happiness, it can also make you, it also makes you rise fairly well in profession. So Saturn and Ketu should not be condemned as it is. Saturn and Ketu usually gives good results. Where it gives bad results is when Saturn and Ketu, that is Saturn and Dragon, uh, and Dragon Tail, which is Ketu in uh, Dragon Tail is the English name. Uh, when they combine together, Shani and Ketu, when they combine together, and there's a third planet with it, any third planet, then all the three planets will give you reduced results. I mean, they're not give the results which they expected to give and they may also give negative results. So Saturn and Ketu together are good but Saturn and Ketu when combined with a third planet uh, do not give good results. They individually do not give result good results and they do not give and the third planet is combined with them also does not give good results. Saturn is the correct for profession, Saturn is the correct for gains, mm, um, Ketu is for happiness, Ketu is for a male child and general happiness. Saturn and Ketu thus are uh, very important planets and together they are good <coughs> especially they are very good when they are in 6th house, 8th house and even in ninth house uh, they give you riches only negative they have is <coughs> which is possible by means of other planets uh, is that it may make you arrogant it can make you think that <coughs> you are the best and you know the most that's what it does when uh, Saturn and Ketu are together in 6th and 8th house for 6th and 8th house especially, <coughs> sorry, for 6th and 8th house, especially when the 6th and 8th house, they give good results. So Saturn Ketu is not something which needs to be dreaded, but it is something which will give you good because Ketu is a representative of Jupiter. It is, it, it gets the, it, it gets the impact of Jupiter. So it always will give you good things. It may not make you, you know, usher you into the you know the the magnitude which uh, other planets do but it will give you a fairly good profession happiness children etc etc sixth eighth and ninth i feel i've always seen it gives good results remember a third planet with them will change everything for the negative only result negative would be the feeling of arrogance the feeling that you are high feeling that you are on the top of the world you are no you know more than others uh, you are the you are the flag uh, of at whichever place you're working or uh, colony or your house you know you would think that you you are the you, you are the person which carries the flag which may not be there which creates issues so these could be the negative results of Saturn and Ketu otherwise Saturn and Ketu uh, gives results mostly good results in all the houses of course you have to see the house uh, it signifies what the house signifies uh, what is the planet which is debilitated there signifies? What is the planet which is exalted in that house signifies? What is the karak of that particular house? And the energy which is there in each house. I mean, each house is controlled by two or three energy of one or two planets, which I keep on telling you in my videos. So if you do write them down, uh, you will come to know about them. And this is my, um, my video on Saturn and Ketu conjunction with this. Thank you very much for hearing me out. and. Uh, you would like to know about me, please go to my website, shankarstudy.com, shankar with the E, where uh, you will see my books and my research. Thank you very much. Thanks.